Hi Leo, welcome to your reading. This is a love reading. Now let's start. First, let's shuffle the deck four times for you. Before beginning, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe for more videos. I post videos every day. Also, take what resonates, leave the rest. It may not resonate with all of you. So let's begin. First, let's shuffle four times. Starting with what is affecting you right now in your subconscious, the lessons from the past, how do you view this situation with them, your focus, your fears, uh, what are the current energies, what is the best thing coming to you in the near future, and what are the energies of this person that is currently in your mind. So let's begin with what is affecting you in your subconscious. Eight of Swords. Feeling confused feeling like you cannot find a proper solution here, like you are stuck there with only one decision, and that decision is to leave the connection completely behind, but you don't like that. But are they giving you another choice? It seems like not. You want to talk, you want to get more clarity, you want to get to know them. Yes, you want the communication to happen. I see the communication not having been the best uh, part of the relationship, but what happened in the past, problems with stability, I don't see a very mature, stable, reliable partner. You had much hopes that it would, it would have a more solid foundation. You wanted something grounded but they acted very immature. Now, how do you view the situation? You see lots of conflicts there. Big egos into play. Disagreements. Mind games. Them wanting to fight and win every argument, but that was destroying the connection. Let's clarify it, why the Five of Swords. It seems very unstable as a relationship, but why do you stay still there? It is because it may have been a soulmate connection with that Two of Cups. So you are still attached to them energetically, emotionally you are with them, but it seems toxic, unhealthy. Your focus is to have some communication or to hear from them a message of love. It may be a message of an apology as well. You are expecting that. So you, your focus is at communication here. What you fear is that it will continue to move that slowly. It will lack progress or rapid progress. Like you will keep waiting like forever for them. And you don't like that. That is what you fear. But what are the current energies? Feeling so much confused. No solutions. Yes, there are some solutions here. And they are very obvious about leaving the situation behind, but you don't like that. You want to find a solution how to repair all this. How to make it better. But are they with somebody else? Are they thinking about somebody else? And is this the reason why they are ignoring you? The lovers. Why the lovers? Some of you dealing with a Gemini. Five of Pentacles. You were attracted. There was much intensive, passionate connection there, but it felt look it felt like there was no love anymore, like everything got broken. What is the good thing coming to you in the near future? Ten of Pentacles. That is a very good card for you, Leo. First of all, you will have abundance financially. If you are looking for that financially, you will be more stable. Lots of money, 
and financial stability coming your way. Not only that, if we take this as a love reading, we are doing a love reading here, not a money reading, uh, this connection will be the one. Your next connection will be long-term and stable. You will build a legacy with this person. Something long-term. This is, yes, this is a very important connection here. Coming your way. Let's get more details. Why the Ten of Pentacles? Three of Pentacles. There's lots of respect here as well. You understanding each other eye to eye. Just by looking at each other. There's stability, maturity. For some of you, you may get to know this person from your workplace. Maybe an, an earth sign towards Capricorn Virgo. But let's jump back to this person that is currently in your mind. Let's see about their energies. Let's see what we have here. Five of Cups. This person feels quite sad, disappointed that it happened like that. They regret it a lot. They'd like to change it. But it seems like they cannot do anything. They cannot return back the time. So, let's see. Why the Five of Pentacles? They are keeping this distance from you, but feeling very sad about that. They are not happy that they are moving away from you. They are just choosing to wait, not do anything, waiting to hear from you. They want to say sorry, but they are not doing anything. They want to see some progress, some signs from you that you are still curious about them, want to get back to them at least to talk. They are very aware that going back in that connection is not easy at all. It feels heavy, dramatic, stressful. They are aware that one partner was doing all the heavy work here. It was not mutual in the this trying and wanting to make it better. Somebody was giving more efforts. The other person was being lazy. They are keeping this distance because they are being logical as well. They are emotional, meaning they are very sad and unhappy, but they can't return. Their logical mind is telling you it's not uh, easy to return. They cannot get another chance. And the tower clarifying the five of cups. Now, an event happened that was very unexpected in the past. Now, how long, how, how long before, I cannot say, but it was a, a very unexpected event, event or behavior that happened there that they think a lot about. They think how that destroyed everything. They would change their actions, their behavior, if they go back in time, but they cannot do it. And that's why they feel sad. Three of Cups, they want to reunite with you. They want to make a move towards you. 
There were lies in the past. Avoidance. Let's continue this reading with more details. Let's see how this goes in the extended. If you are interested, you can find it now in the description box below. Just click the more text underneath the video for the description where you can find the extended if you are interested. Thank you for watching. See you the next reading and bye for now.